the, the, the good news is, is that, believe it or not, at least with respect to the you know, metabolic effects and also the cognitive effects, is that exercise can help negate a lot of that. And that's what I also mm -hmm. learned with yes. my own personal experience. <clears throat> yeah, and your quote, you have a quote on this that I saw online that said, even one hour of sleep less per night for three nights can disrupt how your body processes sugar and lead to mild insulin resistance. But some good news here, HIT can almost reverse it. So can you go with less sleep, but then train hard and reverse the negative effects? So according to research, yes. And according to my own anecdotal data, yes. And, I, and there's, there's, a, there's reasons why. So when you're doing high intensity interval training, so this is where you're going, you know, you're doing intervals that are hard. Mm -hmm. So you're going above what you normally would do if you're just going for a jog. You're going like 80, 85% of your max heart rate. And you're doing it for a period of time that's an interval. And then you kind of have a recovery period where you're going lighter, right? So you're doing a lot of you know, vigorous intensity exercise where it's like during that interval, you can't talk because you're, yeah. you're working out too hard. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's the real test here. Um, what happens when you're working out really hard like that is that you're pushing your energy system to utilize glucose only. And what happens is you utilize glucose only and you make a metabolite called lactate. And everyone thought lactate, this metabolite you're making when you're going hard is this you know, waste product, byproduct. It's not useful. Turns out very, very wrong. Um, lactate itself is not only used by other tissues. So when you're making lactate, your muscles are making lactate because they're using glucose. The reason they're using glucose is because your body can't get oxygen to your muscle quick enough to use oxygen mm. um, as energy, basically, and make it through something using the mitochondria. Right. Right. So basically, you're making this lactate and you're using glucose instead, right? And the lactate then gets shuttled into the brain, it gets shuttled into the heart, into the liver, and it's not only used as a very energetically favorable source of energy, it's also called what's called a signaling molecule. It's the way your muscle communicates with other parts of the body, including going back into the muscle. And so what lactate does is it signals to the cells hey, make more of this or make less of this. And what it does to the muscle is the muscle's going, I'm consuming a lot of glucose here because that's the only energy I can use. I need to make a way to get more of it. And so lactate actually signals to your muscle to make transporters for glucose, more of them come up. 